Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the card review. So today we are looking at an interesting card. Ah, yet another really good card that's Korean only. Oh my god. Norden is like, hi. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm over here. I'm gonna take my uh, pendulum moratorium. We're just gonna, you know, leave. We're not gonna be here, all right? So, yes, this card is another Korean exclusive, and as you can clearly see, you know, if you thought, you know, some, uh, you know, OCG cards that aren't in the set take forever to get over here, Korean cards, you know, shit, we might even never get to see them cards, but they be getting some good cards, you know, you know, like Norden, like instant fusion limiting worthy card. So uh, yeah, this is another really good card that I bet a particular deck wish they had it. So today we're looking at Pendulum Moratorium. Mm, some big words there. It is a quick spell card that reads, This turn, cards in the Pendulum Zone cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also, when any opponent's card effect resolves that targets a card in the Pendulum Zone at activation, negate that effect. Wow, I bet Klee Put would love to have that card, because literally, that's how you shut down Klee Put. Klee Puts are a very, very strong deck, and, you know, the strength of their, their deck is, of course, they're being able to have strong beaters, the Pendulum Zone, the skill, mostly it's the skill drain and the vanities, you know, those two key cards that are both, for some reason, at three, yet they should not be, like... Like, literally, both Vanities and Skill Drain are cards that should have definitely been hit by now, yet they're still both at three, and now you have a deck that can literally use those two cards at the full potential. So, like I said, if those two cards don't get hit on this upcoming list, I will be shocked. I My jaw will drop. I'll be like, wow, Konami, I, I don't even know anymore. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely, um... One of the ways to, you know, just shut down their, their grind game is, hey, they really don't have a really strong side game. And the reason for that is because there's just so many cards that can just easily just pop their pendulum. You know, as soon as they put their tool slash scout in that pendulum zone, you've got MST, Twister, uh, Spell Shot Arrow, uh, you know, Fairy Box, uh, Dust Tornado. Malevolent Catastrophe, uh, th there's just so many just ways just to pop that scout and not let them get anything. But of course, if they had a Pendulum Moratorium, that might be a different story. So, of course, you know, this turn, uh, you know, your Pendulum Zones can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And, if, and also, if there's uh, something... Uh, opponent's card effect that resolves to target a card in your pendulum zone, you can negate that activation. So literally, if you have pendulum moratorium and your opponent goes MST or scout, you're like, no, pendulum moratorium, all right? So negate that card's activation and then till the end of this turn, no more of you trying to destroy my pendulum zone. So therefore, I'm going to get out my pendulum plays, my pendulum summon. So definitely, definitely, I bet Kleeputs really want this card, you know? They'd be like Spongebob. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it! So definitely, definitely, uh, this card would just be so helpful for Kleeput. You know, I'm definitely keeping my eye out on Kleeput, and definitely they are topping a lot, you know. Are they that tier zero deck? Uh, no, they're not tier zero. Because if they're tier zero, then nothing can compete with them. And you can clearly see that uh, there's decks that are also topping as well. You know, we're seeing a little, still seeing a little bit of Shadals. We're still seeing, surprisingly, Satellers. I thought Satellers Knights were kind of going to fall off when Kleeput came out, but no, they're still there as well. Uh, Burning Abyss, they're, you know, kind of stepping back as well. It's like, it's like, it's like, tier, it's like, it's like this, this ship. It's like tier one, like top. Is like Klee Put and Shadals, and then like tier 1.25 because they're not, they're better than 1.5, but they're like tier 1.25. That's Burning Abyss and Satellis because they're still there, but they're not there, you know. Once every blue moon, once in like the big old piles of Klee Put, and then like the little, you know, like the giant uh, Mount Everest of Klee Put, and then like, 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 like the, the Mount Charleston of, uh, of Shadals, then maybe you can find like a little mole hill of like maybe once in a blue moon a, a Teller or a Burning Abyss player will top and use them. But like I said, it has been a long time. Like I said, we're only going off a couple regionals and YCSs, but 
uh, you know, clay pipe are definitely the deck that you should be looking out for. Very strong, very powerful deck. And uh, you know, when I go over to uh, West Coast Anaheim, uh, you know, I'm definitely gonna be facing that. So I gotta prepare for that. But um, you know, it's good to see that the, you know the meta starting to shape up and that uh, clay pipe are just as strong as we thought they were gonna be. You know, uh, when it came to like dueling online, you know, when they first you know, came out, they were just the tits, and everybody was running them, that's all you saw, they were on Daily Duels for a little while, but then, kind of fell out of style, you know, people started stepping away, Shadal started getting more popular, especially since they were here in the TCG, and, you know, Shadal's were, you know, being the tits, but now, since Claypot are out here in the TCG, it's time for them to sh go ahead and shine, but like I said, you know, that side, that side game, it hurts, it really does, you know, that, uh, that game, um, with uh with simply just you know on them just them hate cards you know and i definitely recommend it you know i know it's a lot of people are talking about uh you know spell shouting arrow but i don't recommend that i mean yes spell shouting arrow can break both the pendulum zones of course they would go back to the extract and you can pendulum zone them back later but you get rid of them at the time i am in the boat of twister i say twister is the card like if that of course of course mst mst second in my opinion, Twister, because Twister can hit up a face-up spell or trap, and of course, as you guys know, another thing that makes Kleeput very strong is triple vanities and triple skill drain, so not only can you throw the Twister at, you know, of course, your scout, but you can also throw the Twister at their skill drain, your vanity is emptiness during either player's turn, you know, you don't have to wait for your opponent to attack, like, level and catastrophe, you know, your turn, you can go ahead and, like, I summon my monster, activate, activate my effect, and they're like, and they go flip fill up skill drain and pay their thousand you can chain your uh twister pay pay 500 they paid a thousand for their skill drain you paid 500 for your destinado i mean your destiny your twister pop it and then get your effect so you know you know same thing with vanity's emptiness you know as long as you don't chain anything because if you know if they play vanity's emptiness and you to your your response to your start something you gotta hit the vanity's emptiness you can't hit anything else because then you know it wouldn't resolve because the destruction of any exemptions starts a separate chain so it would literally go like you know summon my monster you know i'm trying to special summon all right let's, let's go uh summon wolf bark activate effect to special summon your opponent goes chain vanities and you go mst on something else then chain would resolve backwards so mst would destroy your opponent's card that's not vanities vanities would uh go off n negating your wolf bark but then after that chain resolved it would start a separate chain and vanities would die so that's why you gotta hit the vanity if it's response to you know i'm a special summon you have to hit the vanities you know you can't be like oh well, i'm gonna get two for one special i mean unless you don't re resolve your special summon because yeah anyway uh tell me what you guys think about pendulum moratorium like i said clear players definitely wish they had it but they don't so you know they're gonna be waiting a cold minute unless the you know Konami decides to bring it here but you know uh, I guess Kareem and Kleeput are going to be running this card because it's just really good. Like, you know, I, you know, Drew talked about how this card was just too ridiculous and that it should have never been created. While Nim Nim was on the side that, you know what, this card is actually fine. And in my opinion, I think this card is fine. Yes, I know it's for, it's pretty much for, like, you know, Kleeput, one of the strongest decks right now. But it's healthy for the game mechanic of Pendulum Summoning. Because, once again, you know, if it wasn't... If it wasn't for how strong Kleeput were, you know, no one would be even doing Pendulum Summons. So, it's good to, you know, for this card to exist and, you know, if it came out here with TCG, it would suck. But, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really mind, you know. I, I would still, you know, to tell you the truth, I would just go after the skill drains and the vanities emptiness, like I said before. Those are the scary cards, you know. Triple vanities and triple skill drain, it's just... <sighs> Wake up in the middle of the night screaming. Screaming! <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Pendulum Moratorium. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will be back Thursday to look at another card. All right. Thanks for watching.